this guy already eating the next morning. Look at that. So as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I did get a spotted hawkfish for the solar tank. And I've just been seeing that guy at the store for the past few weeks now. He's just been looking really good and active and really personable. And as soon as the solar tank got right again, I knew he was going to be the first fish that I put back in there because they're very hardy fish anyways. So I did indeed end up getting that guy today. And if you remember about a month or so ago, my tank had a crash, and all the fish that were in here, I only had three fish, but uh, they ended up getting killed by it. And yeah, I was really bummed out by that, but I did a big water change, you know, did a lot of cleaning to the tank, added another rock to the tank, changed up, you know, the rock structure and all that, and here we are a month later, hopefully ready for some new fish back in the tank. I did uh, test the water and all. Everything is good with the water, so hopefully this guy does good in here, and if he does good, then I'll know that my tank is ready for you know more fish. By the way, the hammer coral is doing really, really good. It's pretty closed up right now. That's actually because about 20 minutes ago before I started filming, uh, I actually scraped some of the algae off the front and kind of cleaned the glass just because it was looking a little bit crusty. So I went ahead and did that before I started filming and uh, that made the hammer coral kind of close up like that. But it is doing really, really good and you guys will see it fully opened up sometime tomorrow. But the conk right down there, clean it away. I'm actually going to the store tomorrow to trade him in for a smaller one. Uh, if you don't know, he's just become uh, a little bit too much for the tank. And I'm still going to have one in here, but I don't want, really want one that big because it produces so much waste. And there's some parts of the tank that he can't get to now. So, yeah, I'm going to be trading him in for a smaller one tomorrow. But the hawkfish, there he is right up there in the bag. And he's been acclimated for about 25 minutes now. So he is now ready to go into the tank. These guys are very, very curious fish and just honestly very personal fish as well. And uh, this is actually a saltwater fish I've always wanted to keep since I've actually had a saltwater tank. And I finally got one. So we're going to go and get this guy out of the bag and into the tank. All right, in three, two, one. There he is. Look at that guy right back there. Swimming all around the tank checking it out and there he is right there so that guy is probably gonna find himself a little spot to you know hide in tonight and then this guy is gonna do a lot of exploring in here for sure like I said they're very they're very curious fish by the way I need to clean this side of the tank there he is right back there just just peeping at me oh, oh here he comes he's gonna come out now once this guy gets real used to me in the tank and everything gets used to the feeding routine this guy is gonna be a very very personable fish and a uh, very fun fish to have in here. Look at him, he's just perched up right there. Oh, oh, he's coming out, look at this. This guy's coming out. Check that out. I think this guy's gonna be a very, very cool fish to have in here. And as long as he does really good in here, I will wait a few weeks or so. He's coming out now, look at him. And I'm probably gonna wait about three weeks to a month before I add any more fish in here. But the first fish that I do add back in here will probably be to clownfish. But uh, yeah, you can see that guy right there. He's, he's probably checking out the conch, honestly, because he is right here. He just kind of darted over at him. He's kind of checking him out. Oh, now he's going back in the rock work. By the way, I thought I'd show you guys the Oscar the Jack Dempsey up here at night. This is really when they're the most active, I noticed, especially the Jack Dempsey. Is at nighttime, honestly. It just kind of takes them a while out through the day to kind of get up and going. But at night, I've noticed this is when they're the most active. Like I said, especially the Jack Dempsey. But I got some of these, like, superfood Hikari sticks right here. I just broke them in half, and I'm going to go put these in here for these guys. Oh, oh, there goes Oscar. He's usually the first to get his food, and then the Jack Dempsey comes up there. And you see, the problem with these sticks is that the fish, they don't eat all of it. You know, they're, they're puffing out quite a bit of it, and uh, that's not very good because that just leads to more waste that, you know, you have to vacuum up. But they are definitely a very, very good food for these guys and just are packed full of protein and vitamins and minerals, which just really brings out the colors and really helps with the growth as well. And they seem to really like them as well, which is very, very good because, you know, it's good to have a food to kind of mix in with the regular diet that, you know, really just adds a lot more vitamins and minerals than, you know, the normal food that you would feed them. Well, it's now the next morning and the hawkfish seems to be doing really, really well in the tank. Uh, actually, as soon as I turned the light on this morning, he was not skittish at all. He was already going around and just picking stuff off the glass and in the stand and stuff. And like I said, they're just a very curious fish and very curious eater as well. And it's pretty crazy. He seems to like to hang out around the conch, which is pretty crazy to me. I don't know. As soon as he got in the tank, he seemed very fascinated by it. And yeah, th just this morning, he's been kind of just chilling right there next to him. And this is him right now. And you can see... He's just sitting right there next to the conch. He was like this when I left the room about 30 minutes ago. When I came back, this is where he's chilling at as well. You can see him moving his eyes around, looking at the conch, and just 
honestly just trying to figure it out you know what he is because in the tank that i got him out of there was not a conk in there and uh, i think he just saw this big old shell that little elephant trunk thing coming out of him and thought you know what the heck is that thing but yeah he just seems very very fascinated by it and you can see the hammer coral is opening up very nicely this morning as well and that right there is exactly why they get the name hawkfish because they kind of just perch up on rocks and just kind of sit there for a minute and just kind of look around for food and as soon as they see something they just go right at it that is exactly why they get the name hawkfish and it's so cool because you see this guy one second and then the next second he, he just disappears into the rocks it's pretty crazy but i'm actually gonna go get some mice shrimp and put it in here and see if this guy will go and eat this morning all right so there he is right there so i'm gonna put a few pieces of this mice shrimp in here and let's see if this guy will go and eat oh oh yep he's getting it look at him look at that that is so cool. These guys are so cool to watch eat. Look at this. Look at that guy. He is going crazy for it now. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him. He's running out here to the front. Look at this. So cool. Watch him. Gets it just like that. So quick. This guy already eating the next morning. Look at that. Just looking really, really good in here. I probably put about 10 or 12 total shrimp in there, and every single one of them is gone. Just like that. Within a few seconds, all those shrimp are eaten by that guy. A little bit more in there. That guy is eating really, really good. Just as well as he was eating in the tank yesterday. So that is definitely really, really good to see that guy already eating the next morning. That tells him that he's doing very good in here. And I can already tell this guy is going to be a very, very cool addition to the tank. And like I said, if that guy does really, really good in there, I'm probably going to wait about three weeks to a month before I add any more fish back in there. But if he's still doing really good and eating very well like he was just then, uh, in about a month, then I'll go and add two more clownfish back in there. But for now, we're going to let that guy kind of have that tank to himself and, you know, just really enjoy him. These guys are just eating on a few mice of shrimp as well. But as you can see, there's a lot less algae in the orange tank now. This gravel right here used to be completely completely covered in algae and it's actually not because of the pleco you see he's just kind of chilling right up there by the heater and not really doing his job that's mainly because I haven't really been opening these blinds and also because I haven't been burning the light as long so those two things have really helped cut down on the amount of algae that's growing in this tank and some of it as you can see is gone by the way the two earth eater cichlids that we got in the last video are doing really really good you can see the little bit bigger one right there and there's the other one out and about now a lot more than he was in the last video when you guys saw him so I've got some mice shrimp right here I'm going to go ahead and drop these in here for you guys to watch them eat because uh, they are starting to eat really, really good now. Watch the bigger one go back there. You can see they're all breaking it apart now. Look at the bigger one. You know, they're not the most, like, ferocious eaters, but uh, they definitely do love to eat. They're just, uh, they just kind of go around and just pick off every little bite. They don't really like big pieces of food. You know, just real small pieces like, you know, what I'm feeding them right now. So you can see them. Just going around, like I said, and just kind of picking off every little piece they see. But they are starting to eat really, really good now, which is very good. And actually, if you sit here and kind of watch them for a few minutes and there's no food actually in the tank, they'll kind of go around to the bottom of the tank and do exactly what they get their name for, which is going around and taking mouthfuls of the substrate, you know, filtering it out through their mouth and then spitting it right back out, which is pretty cool to watch them do it. And that is exactly why they get the name Earth Eater Cichlid. But yeah, those guys are doing very, very good in here. And also, the little honeycomb catfish is still in the same exact spot that you guys saw them in in the video that we put them in the tank which is right there in that little crevice in between the waterfall decoration. When I put him in the 10 gallon tank with the La Lupe Cichlid when I first got him, you know, he didn't eat for the first few days anyway, so it's not very much surprising me that he's doing this. So hopefully within a few days this guy will start to come out and eat. Just thought I'd give you guys a quick update on Chungus. He is licking and doing really, really good. I actually did a water change on his tank about an hour ago, so he's still kind of still kind of bringing his colors back. He, he gets a little bit washed out after I do water changes on the tank, but yeah, he is looking really, really good, and his tank's still kind of clearing up as well. But I'm thinking about upgrading this tank pretty darn soon. This is actually a 30-gallon, and I want to upgrade it to something more like a 50 or 60-gallon because uh, he's starting to really outgrow this tank now. You know, we started him out at a 10-gallon. This is a 30-gallon, and now he's getting a little bit too big for this tank, so I really want to upgrade his tank here pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, he is looking really, really good in here, no doubt about that. But that is going to be pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We got a new hawkfish for the saltwater tank. Hopefully, he does really, really good in there. And like I said, if he does, I'm probably going to wait, you know, a little while to add more fish back in there. But as long as he's doing really, really good in about a month or so from now, we'll go and add more clownfish back in there. If there's any kind of fish you want me to get for any of my tanks, definitely let me know. With that being said, you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.